What's going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. Today we're exploring an abandoned prison as you see behind me. This place was opened up in 1837. It's an extremely old jail and it was closed in 1970. Today we're on location in Newark, New Jersey, a huge city. So a lot of people spend their days inside this building, inside these cells. It's been closed for 50 years and it's in quite a mess of a condition. There's actually rumors of homeless taking shelter inside of the building and I'm hearing noises all around me. And uh, this area is definitely highly dense with homeless people. So there's a huge chance that we might be running into people inside. But uh, we're gonna be taking a look at, at the remains of what's left here. There's not that many prisons that are built, that were built in the 1830s that are still around, let alone abandoned. So I know this place isn't as intact as most, most of the places are that I explore, but regardless, we're here, we're gonna document what's left and hopefully you guys do enjoy. If you do, leave a thumbs up. Let's go check it out. So far you could see the giant windows. I love these arched windows that are here on the side of the prison. They go around the entire facility here. Um, huge standing arched cages essentially, about 30 feet high each. It looks like we're coming into the power plant. We have a few very, very large boilers still remaining here. Let's try to get a better look. Here we go. So we have one and two, maybe one for the men's side, one for the women's side. Here we have a clearer look at the boilers, huge in size. Love these old moldings on the door here. They're pretty vintage. They could be just as old as the prison is. Okay, so here's our first view inside. This specific portion has suffered a lot of uh, natural decay. 50 years of abandonment definitely did not do this place anything good. But this is the only portion where it's really destroyed like this. And we're gonna have to watch where we're walking. We already have some of the first cells we can see. Here we got some of my friends. Say hello. 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 These are not homeless people. They might be in there though. This is one of the best parts of this prison right here. This main staircase that connects multiple cell blocks. the lighting here on this wing right now. It's the morning and it's the light coming in from these caged windows are hitting the rooms just beautifully. You can see all those, all the bars still here. This place is pretty trashed, but it's definitely really cool to come inside this place and see what's left. I imagine this was like the old way of opening the cell doors. Not sure what they would do if they would open multiple at once, but they're kind of, this one's pretty intact. Pulley system that goes up right through the ceiling. Here we have a pretty good look of what the cells would look like. Very small in size. Looks like only one person would be sitting in here. 
so I really just have enough room to stand up. Pretty small, definitely uncomfortable. It's a very uh, uncomfortable feeling losing your rights, losing your freedom. And for a lot of people, this was reality. I'm guessing in this corner we would have the toilet that would be sitting here too as well. Here we have a double bunk set up. I can't imagine two people living in this, in this tiny cell, but I guess that's what they did. And we have some more stairs missing. So we're just gonna have to, what the kids call, send it. Wow, on the top floor of this place, you could actually see the detail putting into, put into the ceiling. That's definitely unique because I know prisons now are pretty much pretty bland, you know. They kind of just use a lot of budget cuts and make the place look kind of boring, which it should, it is jail, but it's nice seeing the detail put into this place way back when. We have some interesting things left behind. We have some notes. I don't know if this was for uh, people who lived here, like post-abandonment, like homeless people, and they wrote notes to the people who did li live here. But this note says, Dear Donna, I love you. Now is the time to meet. Let me know the date, time, and where. And we also have this little chart here. Desire, want, love, Wow, okay, over here we actually have a security booth. You'd come up to here, maybe as a as a visitor, be a guest log here or something. You would talk to the, the correctional officer, whatever you would do. Cool iron gate though, still left here. So weird to see a prison so quiet. So you know this place was definitely very loud back in its day. This is probably an office and we have a beautiful iron staircase with no stairs left. But the but the detail here is still something to marvel. Another detail that's cool is each one of these lines are separated by a tiny little arch and they kind of go throughout the room. It's the small things that you could notice that really bring a place out. Especially old places like this that have so much character. Here we have another cell block. And the light's actually coming in here quite nice. I'm not gonna get too close to some of these cells because as we move down, there's some clothes, there's some belongings, there's some, some suitcases, and I don't wanna disturb anybody that uses this building as shelter. So we're gonna kinda just tiptoe around these people, try not to disturb them, respect their space, while also respecting the building. So I'm gonna keep that in mind.
now we have entered the inmate courtyard. So we're gonna walk around here, get a quick view of the outside. Oh, this, this is a completely blown open door. We actually, it looks like this could have been for deliveries because this, this old door used to slide over. But here we are. We have about 15 foot walls that secure the inmates inside when outside for fresh air. We're gonna take a look at the other side as well. So that office that I thought was really cool, you go outside, you could actually read it right there. That was the warden's office. It's labeled as such outside the building. Just gonna peek inside this window here. This might've been part of the women's ward or the women's cell block, excuse me which was burnt down in 2001 and most of it got, got collapsed and collapsed on top of itself. Here we have like an old, old nightstand really rusted through, but looks pretty vintage. Looks like it's been here a long time. So it's still cool to, cool to see things left in the rubble. And these stairs are pretty messed up too. Ooh, they're buckling right beneath my feet. Can we open the sheet? Is there anybody in there? Someone's definitely coming back to it. It's all set up. Really? Yeah. So this is definitely like a max, like max area. So here's one of the setups that people definitely still live inside of. People who live on the streets and take shelter inside this dilapidated jail. We have just a pile of garbage out here. They're not here right now, but they're certainly going to come back. Here's the, I guess the gate mechanism to open all the cells. It's all rusted through. Yeah, I can't even move it at all. Oh wow, this is where the, the people here hang their clothes. We have a whole wardrobe of just different things hanging up here. Granted, they're still pretty dirty, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Here's a locked cell. This one's pretty intact. And tucked away from the other cells, we have two cells that are like reinforced with not only the normal bars, but like another added grate so you can imagine the, the worst of the worst were inside these ones. Oh, here's a completely locked cell block. So all these cells are just completely untouched, no graffiti, no new occupancy, just natural decay for over 50 years. Check out this route that's coming into the building. We're actually on the top floor and somehow, some way, there's a route coming in, bracing right through the building and just wrapping its way down the entire wall. So one day mother nature is gonna tear this place up. 
Nature always takes back what's hers. Somebody left a donut inside the jail cell. And that looks pretty fresh. I guess they didn't like it that much. Anybody down here? Don't want to intrude, just taking some pictures. Wow. Oh, here's the first bit of uh, numbers I've seen. That's pretty cool. I don't know how many jail cells are in this place, but there's three levels to each block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen on each side. Probably over about over 300 minimum in this entire cell, in, in this entire jail. It's not really a huge jail, but it was built kind of fast when the old courthouse and old jail burnt down. And with, with the population increasing in cities, this place became obsolete pretty quickly, needing for another new facility to be made. Have some remnants of tiled floors so I'm gonna guess and say this might have been the showers. Pretty exposed. I mean, you're down here taking showers and the whole rest of the cell block is looking at you while you're doing such. So there's no privacy here whatsoever. That's, that's also just a guess. I'm not sure if these are actually showers. Let's check out this little office or this little room over here. Definitely could have been showers. We have tiled walls. Okay, I think this is actually remnants of the female ward that was burnt down. Not much left behind. Here's that hallway we were looking at from inside the courtyard. Really tossed up. Oh, here's remains of another cell block. So now we're completely outside, but yet you could see these cells exposed to the, to the elements. That's pretty cool. I don't know how safe it is to walk around in this, in this rubble, but we're gonna try our best, we wanna explore everything. And somebody is really mad driving. Somebody's really getting some road rage out there, holding their horn down. There's a hole in the ground and the only thing separating me to the other side is this old piece of wood. I'm gonna have to trust it for a second. Okay, we're good. Wow, so you can take a really good look at these cell blocks here. Okay, we swung around the corner and now we're getting a look at the other side of the destroyed cell block. It's really cool to see this place completely outside, just completely taken back by nature. You have all these, all these trees just falling down and overgrown over the remains of this place. We have a mattress left behind. I don't know if that's original to the prison or somebody just plopped that down there. My friends made it outside too and they're exploring the remains.
here's a view of that, uh, I guess, cell connector right now from the other side. Now this might be a setup that somebody still uses. This looks pretty new. We also have a curtain there for another cell block. These are outside, so I guess different groups of homeless kind of take over certain parts of the building. I guess they don't bother each other and everything's mutual. Something about this Explore, I think really opens your eyes to People look at America and they see the big buildings. They see the grandeur. I mean, maybe they don't. Lately in 2020, a lot of bad things happen in America. But one thing that is true in America is that these big cities, they home a lot of, they home a lot of homeless people. Um, and that's everywhere. You go to any city in America and homelessness is a real issue. And here we are inside of an abandoned jail. And although it is dilapidated and the town might look at it as unsafe, and destroyed there's some people that look at these structures as shelter and i guess uh this place still does hold purpose even being in the shape it is today so that's one good lesson to take out of this place schedule from 1994 so that's like a homeless person's day-to-day -day schedule from 1994 that's so long ago it's still sitting in one of these cells yeah they have everything marked down they've got service bus cards eo drug i don't know what that means um finance books clothes that's Pretty wild cool. i wonder what happened to the person been sitting here for a very long time yeah in the south All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. This Explore was cool, definitely really dilapidated place, really decayed, really outdated, but that's all things that we love here on this channel. I love jumping back in time and to see the architecture and knowing the history and coming in and actually experiencing with my own eyes and making you experience it with yours through, through YouTube. Um, it was a great experience. I also appreciate that the people that do live here, um, they appreciate it, I know they do. Having a roof over your head is a serious thing, and in most American cities, homelessness is an extreme issue. So I guess for this place going abandoned, it really helped those people out throughout the decades, as we saw. We saw that calendar from 1994, almost 30-something years ago, um, of a homeless person who actually stayed here. It's almost like a homeless hotel at this point. Um, but anyway, I could appreciate that. I appreciate that these people have roofs over their head and they're not just out in the elements. That's one good thing. And other than that, I have only good things to say about this place. It was awesome to walk around this place, um, walk through the cell blocks, see the history, see the little details and everything that was put into this place hundreds of years ago. So if you guys did enjoy it, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more exploring videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. That's one way to go up to the top cell.